So I wanted to ask about this because we're, we're doing our next show, Destin, Fort Walton Beach, My Hero Con, Florida. Get those tickets at MyHeroConvention.com. And there's a little bit of local lore in, in the, uh, the Destin area. Are, are you all aware of what, really? uh, what they talk about out there? No. All right, I'm going to read you a little bit of this here. Uh, this is coming from Backpackiverse.com. In 1935, the bridge connecting Route 98 to Okaloosa Island had begun to malfunction and needed a quick replacement. But little did the engineers know what this new bridge, due west from the old one, would stir up from the wilderness. Little did they know the structure would cross over something paranormal. Wait, wait, wait. Did I do that right? Hold on. Cross over something Ooh. paranormal. Ooh. Local Ooh, that's, that's that Patreon money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Patreon.com slash Humble Show. Locals report a strange event that occurs at midnight on the third Wednesday of every month. When, standing on Brooks Bridge, a pack of wolves can be seen walking on the water below. They follow the same route, rushing in twos and threes over the surface of the sound. A few locals have managed to snap pictures of the wolves. However, every photo developed no, every photo developed is blurry and unreliable because, of course, it is. <laughs> so uh, I guess we're gonna miss the wolves by a week. It's only on the third. Win- they're very punctual. They've got a schedule. The third Wednesday of the month. Midnight. Dude, I was about to say that that's like an uh, that's like a uh, an occurrence in an RPG. Like yeah. you can only get this item if it's on a third Tuesday, and your dad has left the family, and, uh, <laughs> and the drop rate's still pretty low. Yeah. <laughs> Look, so is this? Like, do people say they see the wolves? I, I, yeah yeah look i was reading up on it and there's like a, a, you know one guy that was they were interviewed and he said he was uh he got they said he got choked up um you know talking about the wolves and that uh he he um can't uh, has trouble sleeping because he saw the wolves running across the water out there over oh the brooks, uh, underneath the brooks bridge i want to say the wolves uh, well you're gonna have to go a week early if well, you want to see you the what wolves. Look, somebody was talking the other day. They were like, I thought, and I've heard this before. I've heard this for a few years. Somebody said, you know, I thought that quicksand and uh, something else, uh, uh, the Bermuda Triangle was going to be a bigger problem uh, yeah. for them. And um, But for me, it was, you know, I thought wolves were really going to be a problem. You know, growing yeah. up, you hear about, you know, wolves just, you know, go and zoomy all over the place one time so we talk about matt from time to time our main stage main mc one time i was over at his house and we went outside and there's like woods back there and we there was definitely a uh a pack of coyotes in the woods behind his house acting onions <laughs> oh <man. laughs> coyotes yeah. do be acting onions yeah it was uh it, it was all of a sudden it was pretty pretty wild we were like do you are like are you are you hearing this? Because I feel like I'm hearing this right now. And I feel like this is not a thing that I hear all the time. But uh, yeah, coyotes, man, they'd be going crazy. And that was um, real. I, as far as I know, those were not ghosts. I think they were real coyotes. Well, I feel, chances, bad. Chances I are. feel bad for anybody in like Destin who's who's really wanting like a spooky time uh, come Halloween. Because if like someone was like, hey, man, I got this uh, this condo on the beach in Destin on October the 31st, you better believe like <laughs> Halloween being thrown out the window. I'm putting on like my, uh, my, my Leonard Skinner tank top and my cutoff jorts. And like, I'm going to headbutt somebody's stepdad <laughs> with a, with, with a Bud Light in hand. Like it was like nightmare before Christmas is not going to like touch my skull at all like it's it's like nothing like halloween is just not gonna touch my brain in destin florida like that's just there's nothing (laughs) nothing against the local lore but there's just nothing spooky about uh destin it's just pure just unadulterated letting loose and having a rowdy time Hey there, Humble fam. The My Hero Convention in Florida is coming up fast, August 25th through the 27th. This event is for all ages and fandoms, with lots of exciting celebrities to meet, panels and events to attend, and tournaments and contests to win. I mean, it's hard to list them all in this short amount of time, but let's get it. You can meet Justin Briner, Lucy Christian, Monica Rial, Justin Cook, 
David Matranga, Emily Neves, Christopher Waycamp, Brittany Karbowski, Trina Nishimura, Leah Clark, Jamie Markey, Strange Cat Cosplay, Remy Domino, and Beku Koss, and who knows, maybe the Humble team has a few last minute surprise guests up their sleeves. And the cosplay, are you kidding me? I hear Florida brings it. Like every time. You guys gotta come out and see the cosplay contest, the video game and card game tournaments, the rave Saturday night. I haven't even mentioned the incredible artists in Artist Alley or the freaking sick merch you can get from the vendors. And it's all happening right across the street from a beautiful beach at the Destin Fort Walton Convention Center. Get your tickets now at www.myheroconvention.com or just check out the link in our bio. See you guys there. Until then, stay humble.